Hi there. It's Dawn. Um, I keep trying to think about how, well, I kept trying to think about how I wanted to start this and I don't know how, I don't know how to start this. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going. Um, I've been dealing with some health issues, nothing super serious. Um, so I'm not trying to be dramatic. I was experiencing headaches for like the last year and not migraine type, just annoying headaches. And so I, um, noticed that they started progressing and progressing and I'm taking pills every single day for it. Well, then it was where I was talking about, I need another pillow. Something's going on. I don't, I've got a kink in my neck. And so I, it, that had gone on for a couple of months. Anyway, I'm not get, trying to get too involved in all of that. Basically I went to a chiropractor. He took some x-rays and said that my neck was all jacked up. And so then I went to a neck and spine specialist and I'm getting an MRI on Monday. Again, nothing serious. They're going to just go through and it's a formality to make sure everything's all lined up fine so I can get physical therapy and um, get better. So I was like, gosh, I just feel so drained. I feel so tired. I didn't know if I just wasn't sleeping well because of my neck or if what was going on. And I got online and I didn't go to WebMD or anything because I know that can be like, you know, you think you're going to die then. But I got online and I typed in a couple of words and was shocked at what popped up. And I want to read these to you because I know I'm not the only one. So some of the common signs of what I feel that I have been feeling lately. Physical and emotional exhaustion. Chronic fatigue. You feel tired and drained most of the time, even after a full night's sleep. Frequent illness. Stress weakens the immune system, making you more susceptible to colds and infections. Headaches or muscle pain. Physical tension builds up, causing aches, especially in the neck, shoulders, and back. Sleep disturbances. Either you can't sleep or you're sleeping too much but never feel rested. Disengagement. You begin to feel disconnected from your work, your family, friends, and withdraw from social interactions. Cynicism or negativity. A pessimistic or apathetic outlook on life and work, you may start feeling that nothing matters or that you're not making a difference. Loss of interest, things you once enjoyed or cared about no longer spark any enthusiasm or joy. Irritability or anger, mood swings, small annoyances become overwhelming, leading to frustration or outbursts. Low patience. You find yourself easily irritated, snapping at others, or feeling on the edge constantly. Reduced performance. Difficulty concentrating. You struggle to stay focused. You forget things easily and are having a hard time making decisions. Lack of productivity. Tasks that used to take you a short time now feel like insurmountable challenges. Feeling ineffective. You start doubting your abilities or questioning the value of your work, leading to a sense of failure. Emotional changes. Feeling helpless or trapped. You may feel stuck in your situation as if there's no way out or no solution. Depression or anxiety. Feelings of deep sadness, anxiety, or a sense of doom. Decreased satisfaction. You no longer feel fulfilled by accomplishments and your personal and professional life feels stagnant. Um, and all of these things are from burnout. And I did not realize until I googled signs of burnout. So... I have been doing this podcast for, in February, it'll be three years. I have never taken a week off. 
I have done multiple episodes in a week on a lot of occasions. Um, and I feel like I try really hard to accommodate and to, you know, appeal to just about everybody. And you can't do that. It's not possible. I try and do all of these things to make it work and that won't work. So I tweak it and do something else. I just feel absolutely spent. And there's nothing that wakes you up faster than having a health issue arise in your life. And I know that um, they mention arthritis. That's probably arthritis in my neck. A lot of people have arthritis. There's lots of solutions for that, including PT and going to a chiropractor and whatever. So after I get this MRI, I'm sure I'll have, you know, all kinds of solutions like that and we'll be on, on the journey to recovery. I have multiple episodes of the podcast that are set to air. So I ended up clearing all of my books for October. I felt terrible doing it because I had some really wonderful people that were scheduled, but I wasn't sure what was going to come with my MRI. And I don't want to have to cancel people at the last minute. So I felt like I should just go ahead and just take the latter half of the month off along with the end of the year. Um, I had already planned on taking November and December off because I wanted to just focus on my family and babysitting my grandkids and just spending time with my husband and not focusing so much on the podcast. I genuinely love doing the podcast, but I have run out of steam. I don't know what's going on, but seeing it in black and white and realizing that almost every single one of those symptoms I am 100% experiencing or have experienced in the last few weeks for sure. I just feel so tired. Lack of energy. Again, I don't know if that's because I'm not sleeping good, but no one's paying me to do the podcast. I don't have advertisers. I don't, I, I don't want to let anybody down and I think I am only going to let myself down if I don't take care of my body and my brain and just step back for a little bit. So um, I will continue to air the future episodes. I'm excited to air that. There's some really good ones coming. This weekend will be one about anger. I feel like with the upcoming election, it would be really good to get some out there that will help maybe diffuse some feelings a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm hoping. So um, yeah, Friday will be about how to handle anger. Um, I've got one about emotional intelligence and we start talking about having conflicting opinions from other people and how to deal with that. Really important at this time. I've got some um, about energy, about astrology. And then I don't know. I don't know what's um, coming. I don't know if I'll do just do some of my own episodes by myself. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I know that I need to take a break. So as much as I don't want to, um, because I'm afraid that if I do, then I will lose the following that I have, but I'm going to try and stay engaged and, um, keep, keep, pushing out videos here and there. I just have to figure out what, what's best for me right now. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's happening with me. If um, I have seemed a little less enthusiastic, I don't know. I don't know if I have. I hope I haven't. But um, I just feel in my body and in my brain that taking some time off will be good for me. So Anyway, that is pretty much all I had to say. I hope you're having a good day. If any of these symptoms of burnout sounded familiar to you, um, how to recover, take time off. If possible, step away from work or stressful environments to recharge. 
set boundaries, learn to say no or delegate tasks to avoid overwhelming yourself, prioritize self-care, make time for sleep, exercise, proper nutrition, and activities that relax or energize you, seek support, talk to a trusted friend, counselor, or therapist to process your feelings, rediscover purpose, reflect on what makes you passionate and fulfilled to rekindle a sense of motivation and joy. Catching burnout early can help you avoid a prolonged state of mental and physical exhaustion, so it's important to check in with yourself regularly. I hope this episode helps anybody that may be feeling the way that I'm feeling. I think a lot of us can be overwhelmed right now just because of the way the world is. And so, yeah, take a step back, do what you need to do for you to make you feel better about yourself so that you can be your best self for your children, for your friends, for your siblings, your relationships, whatever you've got going on. Um, so that you can find that work-life balance again. I hope this helped and thank you for listening. Bye.